In this video, I'm going to be talking about what my social life was like at UC Berkeley. And to give some background on me, I was a transfer student in 2016. I went into the College of Chemistry to do chemical engineering. And I think the very first social experience you're going to have at UC Berkeley, and arguably the most important for many people, is orientation day. And I believe since I graduated from UC Berkeley, they've changed it to an orientation week. And that is a very good decision in my opinion because during orientation, that is when you will meet some of the people who you're going to be working and studying with for your time while you're at Cal. And in my case, I had the very stereotypical experience of making my best friend. I had a Berkeley at orientation day. You'll hear that a lot from people. And um, I still remember the first day we were sitting in a conference room in Gilman Hall and it was very foggy and the counselors of the College of Chemistry were all there and they told us that uh, how important it is that you have friends while you're in school because this is going to be really tough and you need to have a strong social support network in order to handle the workload and they said you know go introduce yourself to someone and I turned right next to me and I saw Brendan and uh, shook his hand and I said nice to meet you and you know, we were so tight the whole time and, you know, he's a really good guy and I'm, I'm super proud of him and he's a really awesome friend. And, you know, the, the key thing that I want to hit home about social life while you're in college is that it is so important to have someone there for you that you can talk to and bounce ideas off and go through the hard times together with. And this is a, basically part of being human. Um, even though we're engineers or whatever you want to call us, nerds, dorks, geeks, um, you know, so much of your college experience is what you make of it. And so uh, you're at UC Berkeley, you're at wherever you are, you're, one of your highest priorities, in my opinion, should be building a social support network and meeting people and introducing yourself and getting to know how other people think about the world and how they approach the same problems that you have. And in that regard, uh, just making friends is one of the best things that you can do in any school. But to keep the focus of this video on what my experience was like at UC Berkeley specifically, um, say, so orientation day, really big day uh, for meeting people, making friends. Uh, I think you have lunch together, uh, or at least you know we had lunch together uh, on orientation day. Um, and then when classes actually start, which is like in a week or two, I think, uh, after orientation day or orientation week, that's when you're going to be in lecture halls. And, uh, you know, depending on what your major is, these lecture halls are going to have hundreds of people in them. And what I find really helped me a lot along the way was just I would always introduce myself to the person to the right or left of me. And I would say, what's your name? Nice to meet you. What are you majoring in? And, you know, usually that would be enough to just get a conversation going and talk with people. And, you know, you also know that you're all having the same problems and challenges in school. There's midterms and finals and papers and homework and problem sets and studying and all this other stuff that you got to balance. And somehow in all this, you have to also find a social life and do things you enjoy outside of school because. I will say this until I die, the most important thing that you do uh, while you're in college or while you're doing anything is just make sure that you have time every day to spend doing something that you enjoy doing for the sake of your enjoyment. That's it. It doesn't need to be school related. It doesn't need to be work related. The most important thing here is that it is you. It is what you want to do. Um, and in my case, I love riding my bike. I ride my road bike throughout the Berkeley Hills in Oakland and Orinda and Moraga and Emeryville. I love riding my bike. And so every day after school, um, I would go on really long bike rides. And uh, it was just a huge passion that I still have. And, um, you know, for me, riding my bike and just doing something that had nothing to do with my school or my work because I was also working uh, while I was in college at Berkeley um, was really important just for my own sanity because 
it's really an opportunity where you can just breathe and be yourself and enjoy life and not think about all these other things you have to be worrying about throughout the rest of the day. And so, um, you know, find stuff outside of school that you really enjoy doing. Being an introvert, riding my bike kind of fits in also with my personality because, uh, you know, I do have a hard time talking to larger groups of people sometimes. Uh, and then in addition to that, keeping the focus again on social life at UC Berkeley, uh, a really important thing that I did in as an engineer was joining labs. And people are joining labs usually because they want that experience. They want to be able to talk to employers and say how they've gotten years or semesters of exposure to uh, what is, excuse me, uh, graduate study, graduate study work like at UC Berkeley because you are working with brilliant people who are very passionate about their chosen fields and they are doing groundbreaking research and we can say the same thing about any university uh, and so you know just being around people who it, it's kind of a way of seeing where you can be in the future if like you know if you're in the Pines lab and you really care about uh, nuclear chemistry or NMR or MRI, you get a chance to see through the postdocs and the PI what it's like to be a graduate student and what it's like to do research in the field um, in addition to understanding the content. And so, um, you know, you get exposure to what your career can look like in academia or in the private sector. And then in addition to that, while you're in those labs, chances are there's going to be under, other undergraduates who are very similar to you. They have very similar passions as you do. They're in that same lab for a reason. And so the lab work they're going to be doing can also be a very strong social experience as well uh, that helps a lot of people. Um, me, I, I wasn't necessarily the greatest uh, person at attending the parties and the journal clubs that we had all the time. But, um, you know, if you want to put yourself out there and get uh, exposure and meet a lot of really cool people who are very similar with very similar interests as you, uh, labs are another very good way to do it. And then I think a good way I can kind of wrap up this video that is very telling is that so, you know, as I look back, as I reflect on my time at UC Berkeley and basically all of my career, uh, and I'm still entry level professional, but you know, the the gist of what I want to tell people is that your experience and your time, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, is what you make it. And if you go into a school thinking that it's going to be just a bunch of competitive people and you're not going to get along with anybody and it's going to be really tough and you're just going to come out the other end crying and changing major, then that's how it's going to be. And the Thing that you will learn implicitly and it will be solidified as you go through college is this notion that life is what you make it and if you're if you walk in hating something of course you're gonna keep hating it if you go in with an open mind and if you introduce yourself to people if you just don't judge who they are and you are genuinely interested in learning more about what their perspective is and how do they approach the same problems that you have you will come out so much of a better person at the end of the day. And college is a great opportunity to do this. And so, um, you know, wherever you go to college, it doesn't have to be UC Berkeley. It can be wherever you want, whatever school you're in. And it doesn't even have to be college. It can be your job, introducing yourself to customers in a retail store. Your life is what you make it. And if you are someone who wants to build these social support networks and have friends and you know, meet tons of people, you can do it. You just have to change your mindset and you have to go in and you have to push yourself. You have to practice and you have to step outside of your comfort zone to do a lot of these things. And so me being an introvert, making this video that I'm making right now is tough for me. It's because, you know, I am pretty shy and I have a hard time talking to large groups of people, but I'm pushing myself to do it because this is one of the things that makes me who I am. I enjoy pushing myself to grow in areas that I think are relevant to what I care about. And so, um, you know, I definitely think college UC Berkeley was a, a really good experience for me to just get better at meeting other people and learning their perspectives. And 
keeping and forming my own perspectives on life. And I know it's very cliche to say all this stuff because this is what all the high school teachers will tell kids as they're going into college is that this is really formative years of your life. Your early 20s, your late teens, you are forming your perspectives in life. You are figuring out what do you want to do? Who are you? What interests you and what motivates you? And, um, you know, if you go into college with that mindset, if you if you want to meet people and you want to put yourself out there and you want to learn more about other people, they will want to learn more about you and you'll have this beautiful relationship. Uh, you'll have many beautiful relationships with people who you meet in college. And so at the end of the day, it should be a very exciting thing that, you know, I look back on and I can genuinely tell you, like, I'm glad I went to UC Berkeley. and I'm glad I met the people that I did because they are very important to me and they still are. And it really changed and shaped who I am today, the person talking to you right now. And um, yeah, I don't want to get teary, but um, you know, just I'm really proud of everyone who is going into college. I don't care what college it is, just go in, socialize, meet people, have fun, learn as much as you possibly can, meet as many people as you possibly can, and above all, just enjoy life. And I hope that this video uh, somehow <laughs> adds some light into what social life can be like in college. Um, and even if you're a dorky engineer like me who didn't go to the parties or wasn't a frat, uh, you know, it can still be a very positive thing that you're going to meet a lot of really cool, nice people who want to help you and they want to do really big, cool things too. And uh, your experience and your life is what you make it in college. And so keep going and really proud of all of you. Feel free to chime in with comments or questions and thank you for watching.